Yo, what's popping, everybody? Welcome back to JC. Oh my goodness, it has been a while since I've posted about. I'm very sorry about that. I know my fans are waiting, but it's 2020, new year, new me. I said that I'm going to post 30 videos this year. 30 videos, so that is an average of one video every, what, like 13 days or something. So anyways, I've gone through a big transition in my life because I've transitioned from high school all the way to university. And as you can see, I'm at Western University, this wonderful university. Um, the program I'm taking right now is I'm taking engineering and today I'm just going to talk about what it's like to be a, an engineer at Western University. This is not like a day in the life of video, it's just like a kind of overview of what Western engineering is and how my first semester went out to be because I already did my first semester now I'm actually at second semester and it's winter here, it is cold. Without any further ado, let's continue talking about this in my room because it's really cold out here. Oh, hey guys, welcome to my res. So, as I said back in UC Hill, this year I'm going to be doing a video grind. I'm going to be trying my best to post as many YouTube videos as I can. I said to myself that this year I'm going to post 30 YouTube videos as my New Year's resolution. We'll see how that goes. I'm doing it for you guys, the J citizens. So from now until like a long time, I'm going to be filming a lot of my YouTube videos here at Western University. And I actually have a lot of dope video ideas I have in mind. Like, no more of that vlog BS. Like, I'm going to be cutting down on videos that people actually want to watch. So anyways, guys, back to today's topic, which is engineering at Western. I'll be honest with you, the first semester was honestly not that bad. So there's this whole misconception that the jump from grade 12 to university is gonna be like a very monumental jump. But I'll be honest with you, like, it's not that bad. Like, first semester was not too, too bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. I think part of the reason why I'm not feeling as stressed as people say that they are is because I am at Western Engineering. Like, everyone here is super friendly. Western has a very strong school spirit, and everyone is here to help each other. Let's rewind the clock just a little bit. So back in orientation week, which is the first week back into Western University, and the point of O week is for new first year students to kind of get a feel for Western University and the university life and just getting comfortable in general. There are no classes during O week. It was all focused on making the first year students feel welcomed to Western. And during orientation week, there were a lot of fun activities such as magic shows. There was a concert, Killy came. There were like therapy dogs and therapy bunnies. That was really cute. There was also like hypnosis shows and many other fun activities, karaoke's. And then another thing that I really like about Western University is that there are some people here called SOFTS. So SOFTS are upper year students that kind of are your big brothers and sisters to kind of help you get more comfortable with the university life. Like if you're not sure whether or not to do something or if you need advice or if you just want someone to talk to in general, they're here to help you out. But after a week, that was when the grind started. So at Western University, the first year is general and then the next years are more specialized. So for me, I wanna go into mechatronics engineering. I might also do IV, which is a dual degree with engineering and business. I might do that, but it's really hard. We'll see uh, if I decide or if I change my mind in the future. So in this entire first year, I am taking 10 courses in total. Seven last semester and seven this semester, which means there are some overlap. Uh, which means there are some four-year courses. So this semester, I am taking chemistry, physics, material sciences, calculus, business, design, and statics. And last semester, instead of taking material sciences, I took linear algebra. Physics 2 is this semester, and last semester, I took physics 1. And last semester, instead of taking chemistry, I took Java programming. The engineering schedule is absolutely insane. Right now, I am taking 35 hours per week. Last semester, I only had 34 hours a week, but this semester, I have an additional one hour because I have a chemistry lab that is three hours long instead of a Java programming lab that is two hours long. But the physics lab and the chemistry labs are kind of like alternating weeks, so that's a little bit better. So I made it through the first semester, including the midterms and finals, without too much of a hitch. But the final exams were kind of rough because I had five exams. I had one for calculus, statics, Java programming, calculus, and physics. Not to mention, I also had a business report. In the end, during exam season, I studied for like 12 hours a day and I slept for another like 12, 
woke up, and I just repeated that process. But I made it through and I'm still feeling good. Overall, my first impressions of Western engineering is honestly not that bad. I've learned so much in the four and a half months I've been living here. And if you're considering going into Western engineering, Honestly, I would say go for it because the engineering here is actually really good. I promise you. As I said earlier, the thing about Western is that everyone is super friendly. I've heard of other universities where let's say you miss a day of class and you ask someone in your class for lecture notes. They'd be like, yeah, sure. And then they would give you fake notes to kind of sabotage you because they're always just trying to like get to the top. But this is not the case in Western. Also, I've heard of other stories where in other universities, people actually rip pages out of the library book so that others with the same like research topic can't use the same library book but that is also not the case in western and in the end you're going to be studying four years at western if you want to do engineering five if you also want to do the iv dual degree and at the end of those four or five years you're trying to achieve the iron ring which is a ring that kind of symbolizes the importance of your job being an engineer how it is very important to public safety and health and how you're not supposed to mess up your calculations and that is the driving force that is getting me and a lot of other engineers i've talked to through this roller coaster ride of pain called engineering anyway so that is what it is kind of like to be a first year student at western engineering what it's like that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you guys are new to this channel you guys should definitely click that subscribe button and smash that like button and honestly like i have so many other video ideas in the future it is totally worth subscribing for and also follow me on my photography instagram i've been putting a lot of effort into it so definitely check that out username is down here and uh yeah that's pretty much the end of the video and i will catch you guys in the next video